three of a kind, okay? So on how to actually count this up in poker. So 52 cards, uh, we're choosing five of them. And how many of those combinations would have been three of a kind, all right? So I'm gonna do two, kind of two things. I'm gonna do three of a kind, and then I'll also, we'll talk about um, two pairs and what the probability of that would be um, and how many combinations you would have. Okay, so starting off with three of a kind. So what we have is we have five cards given out. Um, three of those are of exactly the same kind. And then we have two other cards. Um, and these, you know, can't be a pair um, of, of any kind. So they're two different kinds um, there. Okay, now if you wanted to know, you know, three of a kind of a pair, which is a full house, I can put up a link up above there um, to, to that video, um, or you can take a look at the entire poker playlist for combinations and you'll find all of these. Okay, so if I just want three of a kind, this is a little bit tricky and I have made this error actually numerous times. Every time I leave combinations, I'll come back to it, you know, a little bit later on and I, I make a common error. But um, how would we count this up? Well, when you're doing this, okay, and you know that you have a three of a kind, so whatever that three of a kind might be, okay, so let's say three aces. We know that in total, we have 13 kinds, right? So from aces, twos, threes, and so on. So we have 13, and we can choose one of them. So 13 choose one. And once we have that, um, you know, we can choose, so let's say if it was aces. We know that there are four aces in here. So from here, you know, we have four aces to um, choose from, but we're only choosing three of them. So this would have been 13 choose one, which just gives you how many different kinds there are. And then you have four choose three. Once you have a kind, you, you can rearrange them four choose three times, right? Where an order doesn't matter. Okay, so how many combinations we have. And now here's the tricky part. So once you have this, you have two other cards remaining. And the way to think about it is that we want these to be different, right? So we want these two to be different. And we still have 12 um, kinds to choose from once we have chosen, you know, one of them for the three of a kind. So there's 12, but because we want the two kinds to be different, we would say 12 choose two, because we want two different kinds from here. So in this case, you know, this one is different and this one is different. So that's why we're choosing two of the different kinds. And once you choose them, right, once you choose two different kinds, so that means you can choose from four, um, because let's say if it was twos, you know, there's four twos. And if it was threes, there would be four threes. But you're only allowed to choose one of them, right? One would go right here. And then the other, so four choose one, would have been going here. So in total, you know, if you look at this, this is going to be quite a bit of stuff. So 13 choose one multiplied by 14 choose three. So that's the number of combinations we would have for those three cards multiplied by 12 choose two, because that is the two different kinds that we want for those singles. And then this would have been multiplied by four choose one, but two times. So I guess we can square this like this. And that is the entire total of number of combinations of three of a kind. The error that I was referring to, so very often, this is what I have done. So what I have done is because of the fact, you know, once we're done with this, what I have done previously and it's fine, but you have to notice what you're doing. So I would say, okay, so that means for this one, I would have 12 choices, right? And I want to just choose one of them. And from that, okay, you know, I would choose four, choose one. Because I would do the two separate remaining cards separately. So I would say 12, choose one. And then once I pick my kind, I know that I have four, four cards remaining and I just want to take one of those four. And then I would say, oh, okay, but then that means because I chose one here, then I would say 11 choose one, because now I only have 11 cards left, I mean, 11 kinds left. And then again, I would do four choose one. 
And mistakenly, you know, you would say, okay, so that means this is 13 choose one multiplied by this, you know, multiplied by this, by this, by this, by this. But this creates a problem. And if you don't see it, what you're actually doing, if you don't right away say you have 12 kinds and you're choosing two of them because you want them separate. If you do this, what I did in red, okay? So if you do 12 choose one times four choose one, multiplied by 11 choose one times four choose one, then you do actually have to divide this, okay? by two factorial or just two because you're actually counting the combinations two times and that's something that people don't always see so be careful okay don't fall in this trap and if you do you know you would have to divide this by two because you've actually counted them twice because you treated them separately throughout so to make sure that you're treating them at the same time meaning that the two cards are going to be of different kinds just do this just say I have 12 kinds remaining and I want to pick, make sure that I pick two different ones out of them. All right. And then that will take care of this. So this entire thing, okay, if you do divide by two actually is equivalent, okay, to this right here. But I like this one much better. All right. Okay. So that is how you would do that. And now to find the probability, you take the total combinations and divide it by 52 choose 5 because that's the total number of combinations in a 52 deck card okay if you're drawing five cards all right so i hope that was all right you can put comments okay if you like in here so that's three of a kind and now two pairs okay so for two pairs so that means you know i have two pairs and then i have one remaining so this is actually this kind of similar thing what we had up above. Now we want two pairs. We want these to be of different kinds. So maybe, you know, a queen and a queen, and let's say maybe a two and a two. So that would have been two pairs. And then this would have been something different. I don't know, maybe a three. So because you want to make sure that the two are different. So here we know we're starting with 13 kinds, but we're going to be choosing two of them right because we want two different pairs we want one here and then one there so we have two different ones once we choose the two kinds then from here you know you can pick one of them so that one will have four cards so let's say the four queens but you only want to pick two of them so how many combinations are there in total and you'll do the same thing in this case you know i put twos in here so it would have been four choose two so to get those two pairs, it's going to be 13 choose two because we're picking two kinds and then multiplied by four choose two, except this is squared because we're doing it two times. And now that only leaves us one more. So this, because we picked two kinds already. So 13 in total minus the two. So that leaves us 11 to choose from. But now there's only one right, right here and we're choosing just one of those cards from the four. So maybe if we had four threes, okay, we would do that. So now this would have been multiplied by 11 choose one times four choose one. And that is the total number of combinations you would get of two pairs. All right. And now to get the probability, again, you can divide this whole thing, 52 choose five to get that. So both of these are actually hard. To try to find three of a kind and then two pairs, you know, you do have to really test yourself how well you understand these actual combinations. And sometimes you have to see it. And by the way, I did have to see it. I had to think through it, okay? I was doing all kinds of different notes and I still sometimes make a mistake like this where I forget, okay? And I'll separate them and then forget that it's combinations. So once you separate, you have to make sure that you take out the ones you counted twice, all right? So it's much easier to be able to, you know, choose your kinds and right away group the two ones that you want different, all right? Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope that it's useful. Thanks for watching. See you in a future one. Bye, everybody.